Hello everyone! I have a winter tradition of sorts that I do every year down here in this place we call the pit. Next to a roaring fireplace, which currently isn't active right now, obviously. <laughs> in that, what I do is I grab Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal and go and catch a Houndour. Now, why would I do that? Every year, even though I've already got a Houndour, clearly from other years, well, it doesn't have to do so much with playing the game to get the Houndour. It's more about the moment that I had in this place regarding me catching a Houndour for the first time way back when I first got the game. See, I was kicking back here, you know, just relaxing and I was playing the game I had this here only you know the the game would be plugged in <laughs> so I was just playing here by the fireplace it was nice and I kept getting roared out of battle uh, by the hound hour because that's just what those suckers do but it didn't matter to me and that was the moment that I had here it wasn't so much about getting the hound hour so much as it was just enjoying playing the game well you know the game. <laughs> so, well, I didn't do it this year. I forgot and stuff. And yeah. And so, what can I do about that? Well, since I kind of missed the winter time frame, since it's already spring, and this place isn't really, you know, all the the best place for lighting, and I planned on recording this year's tradition. I guess I'll do it somewhere different. <laughs> you know, like my usual in the room recording place. The reason why is because I realize that it's not so much about recreating, you know, the whole moment at this particular place. It's just about playing a game and enjoying it, you know, relaxing, not really uh, caring about anything else, but just, you know, relaxing. I, I know I said relaxing a lot there, but you, you get what I'm saying here. So that is what I'm going to do. I am going to go and catch a Houndour on camera in another room. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, here we go on my lovely Game Boy player. All right. Here we are, Pokemon Crystal version. It's nighttime, which is the time we need to be, and why I'm over at the game corner. I forgot why I came here after I completed my Pokedex. Maybe just to mess around, or maybe, I don't know, Crystal decided, yeah, I, I've done it all. I, I can't do any more than this. I'm just gonna go see if I can hit it big gambling because being a Pokemon trainer, not really the most lucrative career. <laughs> anyway, uh, we gotta take this train over to Kanto. Well, we don't have to take the train actually, I should say. Um, you can actually f uh, fly there if you go to New Bark Town and surf a couple squares over to the right so you end up in Kanto and then fly over to the place that you would need to go, but, well, this is an alternate way. <laughs> now, uh, I don't know what team I have currently, uh, that's way, way too powerful for what I need. <laughs> so, oops, so I forgot what select button is, map 2, there we go, it's map 2, the Y button on here, not the Z button like I thought. La 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 Okay, I'm just messing around here. <laughs> so what I want to do here is get some lower level Pokemon here. And I'm going to go and do a moving thing here. And by the way, while I do some moving here, I'm going to explain that I am well aware that I don't have to play this for my tradition since I realize that it's not necessarily about the game or the moment, it's about just enjoying yourself playing said games and whatnot, but you know, for the sake of this video I figured that I would go and do stuff and stuff, so yeah, in this game. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, oh boy, I've got a lot of Pokemon to zip through, maybe I won't move too many Pokemon out of here, I just need like a couple, 
at around maybe level 20 or so, so maybe pseudo Wudo, because Houndour is a um, uh, fire, well, part fire type, fire and dark type, so that's, you know, it's got the resistance sort of thing, and pseudo Wudo isn't all that powerful, so yeah. And maybe I'll try a little water type here as well in the form of Krabby. Sound good? Good. Now, where you find Houndour? Well, as I said, you've got to be here at night. Well, not necessarily here, but over here at Route 7. See this little patch of grass here? This is where I go to catch a Houndour. This is the only place in any of the games that you can catch a Houndour of this generation. So, yeah, I gotta run around the grass here for a bit until we come across one of those bad boys. One of those glass cannons. <laughs> yeah, they don't really have very much defenses, but they got a lot of attack power. Uh, Murkrow, yeah, you can find them here, too. Uh, but they're much more common than, uh, you know, Houndours, so this is gonna... It might take a little bitty while, but remember, the moment is not the time it takes. The moment is relaxing and enjoying the game. Oh, that cute Meowth! So cute! Must cuddle, and probably get my face scratched off. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Pseudo Udo couldn't run despite being five levels higher than it! <laughs> this is awkward. Probably too low a speed. But yeah, that's kind of weird. Come on, Houndour. Roulette! Ah. <laughs> I wonder what the ratio it is for finding a Houndour. Because, oh come on. <laughs> because there's a thing of where uh, everyone's got their own, like, statistic for what the ratio of what Pokémon appear in which route and whatnot, and I notice that they're very different from each other, so that's telling me that people are just taking a guess at the ratio of the Pokémon and not actually having a, a you know, a, a real deal number, but I'm prob someone probably has a real deal number, you know, if they hacked the game and actually got the numbers for it, but how am I supposed to be able to tell who hacked the game and who didn't? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like there's a guide that says, yes, we hacked the game so we were able to get exact info, and then it would be hard for anyone to verify that without actually hacking the game themselves, so let me just put it this way. Houndour, rare. <laughs> Everything else is like medium rare steak. Mmm, steak. And pseudo-rudos getting scratched to Hades and back with scratch damage. <laughs> Come on, Houndour. Justine needs a new pair of shoes. Whoa, oh, no encounters. <laughs> okay, this is taking an awkward amount of steps. There we go. <laughs> It's like, hmm, I don't know if I want to come out, so I, I, I mean, I'll just move over to this square so I don't run into Crystal, and yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, when I say Justine, um, it's a name I give to a girl character whenever I play as a girl character. So I have Justin for boys and Justine for girls. <laughs> it's kind of a... My way of doing things for a name and stuff, but I know her name is, uh, uh, is, you know, Crystal in this game. Uh, there's Gold, which is, uh, the main character that you play in the first game. Then you can play in this game as well. Uh, and Silver is your rival, Crystal is this girl here. Yeah, the characters are named after colors, basically, and, uh, Persians are pretty rare around these parts. So, but I already got one, as you can tell, so it's kind of kind of pointless, and this is going to knock out pseudo Udo. No, it's not! <laughs> hmm. Kind of wondering if I should uh, go to ye old Pokemon Center. I'm thinking that's a good idea, because <laughs> like pseudo Udo strategy only really works on, uh, you know, Houndour, and I'm not at the... S yeah, here we go. <laughs> uh, I, I know that you got to go down to the lowest portion of S Saffron City to uh, get to the Pokemon Center. So I, I don't know why I went directly to the right, but that's just what I did. <laughs> that's what I get when I commentate while playing. I focus too much on the commentary and less on the playing. <laughs> but I get the job done. Eventually. <laughs> Alright, here we go. By the way, 
Uh, you can tell that you can actually go... Like, if you go through the top of a transition point, you end up at the top uh, of the transition points when you go through it. When you go through the bottom, you end up at the bottom. That's why I went through the top rather than the bottom. It doesn't really matter, though, square-wise. It just... Yeah, I figure because I'm closer to the grass. I don't know. I'm just kind of putting my thoughts out there as I go. It's <laughs> kind of what I do. Oh, Murkrow. You are... The current bane of my existence, aren't you? <laughs> this haze slows down game's frame rate. But doesn't really mean much, because it's a turn-based game. <laughs> At least I think that's the game's frame rate slowing down when haze happens. I mean, that might actually be the um, animation, but it doesn't feel like that's what it should be. There's one! <laughs> And it's a female one, so I can breed up as many as I please. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh. I didn't really think this one through. I didn't check its moves. How about Flail? That's not very effective. Come on, Flail. Do a decent amount of damage, but not knock it out because it's incredibly fragile. It bruises like a banana. Don't use Roar, please. Do not use Roar. And oh, I just realized, do I have any Pokeballs? That could be a problem, too. <laughs> Uh, this should be enough, unless a critical hits, which would suck. Alright, what do I got here? Oh my god, I got plenty of balls! <laughs> Alright, here we go, Ultra Ball! I got it! And that's it. We are done here. My tradition! is completed. That was fun! <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I shall see you later!